couple of questions on my workout set and today I'm wearing the black version so I wanted to just let you know like where it's from and stuff and give you a little review um, it's from set active I think it's their luxe form one super stretchy and comfortable nothing falls out this is what the shorts look like very comfortable and yeah I have them in like three colors because I really really like the fit it's so comfortable and secure and just tucks you in all the right places. And this is my favorite style of top, this one and the thinner strap. Cause I also have like the thicker strap regular bra and on me, I just prefer the thinner strap and the one strap. But yeah, I have both the leggings and the shorts. I like the shorts a little better, but the leggings are beautiful as well. Sometimes I leave my kitchen window open. Not open, but like the shade up. And people drive by so slowly and look inside. Such nosy people. Roger ordered pizza yesterday. He had a boys night with his brother. Just two people. <laughs> Please look at the size of the pizza that he bought. Two people with a side of wings and a side of cheese sticks. So this is my outfit for the day. This is an old button down shirt from Everlane. Pullouts are also old from Urban Outfitters, I think. My Proenza Birkenstocks bag is Osoy. Please excuse all the mess in the background. You guys already know. I just love this bag because it's so easy to throw everything in. And these earrings are new from a brand called Amulets, I believe. These back here are by Majuri. some new branches and uh, for those of you that wonder where I get my branches my neighborhood has a lot of trees and um, I just take my shears to like the back of my house where there's like an overgrown area that clearly needs trimming obviously I don't go and steal it from people's yards or anything this is like just overgrown stuff that I take if you're wondering I, I wouldn't just clip nice gardens or people's property or even if it's like my neighborhood like I wouldn't just take it from like a nice tree you know I take it from like an overgrown area anyway um, <laughs> I think it's important because I've had people steal plants from my yard <laughs> like from my garden so uh, yeah I wouldn't do that to anyone but yeah so I don't know if you could tell but I got the planter and I just put a bunch of branches on it like really dramatic because my island or like El Peninsula whatever you want to call it in my kitchen is very big and um, everything that I put there is just too small so I really wanted to make it very grand looking so I like how it looks hopefully it lasts 
because every time I put branches it does dry out very quickly because I'm not putting water in it but um yeah you can put water if you want but my pot has a hole a really big hole and I just want it to be like clean up there you know I don't want to put like a draining plate or anything so yeah there's that one then there's this one which is like a daintier branch I put over here please excuse my Yeti there I put this one over here it's already kind of drying out but it's fine and I put this one over here on my vanity and I put the last one over here and these branches are different. When these dry out, they still look good. So I recommend getting something like this as opposed to something like this. Yes, it looks pretty, but these leaves are gonna turn yellow like very soon. But yeah, I like it. It looks very grand. Looks like there's like a huge tree coming out of my kitchen, which I love. I'm wearing this unitard from LNA this very like kind of sheer lightweight cardigan I forgot the brand but I got it on net day same bag as always and my Proenza Birkenstocks all black on Valentine's Day to cut my hair this is the before I don't know how short I'm gonna go probably just like this I don't think I'm gonna cut too much but we shall see and here is the after I didn't cut too much obviously I don't like the way they style it I mean, I don't hate it, but it's not how I would style it, but it's fine. Just trimmed a little off and cut the bangs a little bit, which they look a little crazy. Yeah, you know when you have your way of styling your hair, people just don't get it, right? But she does a good job. I love her, so. Yes. finished hemming the curtains these are the same ikea curtains that i use around my whole house but they're really long they're the same ones i have here so you guys saw i cut them and then now i just quickly hem them with this hem adhesive and i didn't have an iron so you saw that i used my straightener and it worked perfectly fine so yeah really like it you can see what it looks like over there it looks profesh in my opinion and yeah so now i just i'm waiting for it to set a little bit and then i'm gonna hang this one this is what the front looks like pretty cool it just like melts 
into the fabric with heat. So yeah, if you guys don't know how to sew, this is cool. I'll let you know how it holds up. I think it's gonna hold up well, judging from like how well it sticks. But I'll let you know. Okay, so if you guys saw my last vlog, you would have seen that we had bought the washer dryer. So here they are, finally. New washer dryer. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that this has been an ongoing discussion forever. Needing a new washer dryer. So we finally did it. These are the ones I got. They're still kind of big for this closet, but it's fine. We have the curtains up. And yeah, this is from Ikea. I've had it forever. They're just like the Alex drawers, I think, which personally I need them right now because there's not a lot of storage in this house. So that's why that's there. Not the cutest thing ever, but it's fine. And then this is also from Ikea. I have to organize it. And then you guys know I have my rack also from Ikea with my hangers and then you know, uh, to put my broom and all my other stuff there. I have to organize all of this. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what we're working with for a second. So this is what it looks like closed. You can see what the hemming looks like. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Yeah, if you guys aren't too great at sewing, I definitely, or don't know how to sew at all, I definitely recommend. Lately I've been posting a lot of vlogs. I know that not all of you like that. A lot of you prefer like sit down videos and I'm, I'm getting there, I promise. I have style videos coming. I have tip videos, regular sit down videos, favorites, all that. I promise. I just have been in a rut. I go through this a couple times a year. It's normal. I kind of just let myself go through it you know i don't i don't try to force anything during these times obviously if i'm in a rut for too long you know i kind of have to push myself and then on top of everything you know obviously current events don't help at all and it sucks but you just got to push through i look so pale if you're wondering why I've been slacking on posting and stuff or why I've posted more vlogs than anything else that is why yeah so Roger and I have been like decluttering organizing I have to put I still haven't put the clothes that I decluttered on Poshmark I have to do that I'm trying okay I don't know what this is I cut she cut my bangs yesterday and I go through like an awkward stage every time I cut my hair and then it eventually sorts itself out so yeah i'm gonna try to go get some energy <laughs> and um, my advice to you like if you're going through these things is to try to change up your environment like if it's your house try to move things around try to organize things try to like change layouts in rooms or just make sure that whenever you walk into specific areas of your house especially ones that you're gonna be in for long periods of time just make sure that everything is like somewhat organized and fresh you know whether you have to change things around kind of like what i've been doing with my office space slash laundry i spend a lot of time in that room so i just kind of like changed things around made things more functional and just Switching things and making your workflow easier for you depending on your routine throughout the day uh, and making like the aesthetic of your workspace nicer, making you want to be there is so incredibly helpful. And if you don't have like the money to buy new things for your space, you can just, like I said, you can just change the layout and organize it or declutter it or just move things around whatever you need to do but 
that's what helped me. Another thing that helps is uh, reading. I've been reading self-help books. I'm about to finish Atomic Habits really love that book exercising trying to you know i mentioned a couple of vlogs ago how i do like the 15 to 10 minute rule where i tell myself okay i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna jump rope and try to get some kind of an exercise in for 10 to 15 minutes and once i go outside i end up spending more than like half an hour working out because it's just getting there i don't know nobody asked for these tips but i'm here to give them to you because we all go through this and if you guys have any tips of your own share them in the comments some things are just a little bit more important than my washer dryer setup you know so thanks for listening always appreciate it my styling what the haircut looks like i still have to fluff it more it looks a little better we're not getting that stringiness anymore nice i do have to like my bangs will eventually i'll probably end up trimming a little bit myself which i usually do i'm looking at the viewfinder by the way I usually do some minor adjustments like if I see that things aren't sitting the way that I like it you know how you know you're here so I'll probably have to trim my bangs and stuff but I just wanted to show you guys because I hadn't showed you what it looks like with my styling and I used the same styling as last video so you guys can look at my last vlog this is what it looks like I used a shampoo and conditioner that was actually sent to me because I'm trying it out in order to be able to review it for you guys this is the first time that I use it but I think I'm gonna like it so it's meant for like sensitive scalps and itchiness it's by this brand Jupiter the conditioner is formulated with probiotics vitamin E and colonial oatmeal and then the shampoo it's a dandruff shampoo with 1% zinc, pyrithione, coconut oil, and algae extract. Yeah, I don't suffer from dandruff, but lately my scalp has been reacting to some chemical. I don't know which one it is. I think it's in one of the shampoos that I was using. And so far, these like zinc dandruff shampoos have been working for me. They leave my scalp very nourished and moisturized because you can use these conditioners on your scalp so yeah today is roger's birthday i'm gonna clean up a little bit and get everything ready so the best part about having a glass desktop is <laughs> my view i put his bed under here and he just loves it yeah you like your bed there Thank you.